No, that's it in a car. <laughs> What's going on, you guys? Today we're going to be doing another rapid disc review for you. We're going to be taking a look at the Latitude 64 Brave that just came out. 7.6 Neg 1 2, but I feel like they got these numbers a little bit wrong. I've actually been bagging this Brave for a good bit now, and I really, really am liking how this thing flies, so I just wanted to come on here and show you guys today. Some of you may or may not know, the Brave is actually going to be kicking out the Crave out of my bag. You guys know that watermelon crave. I just I left it at home today, but I meant to bring it. But yeah, the Brave is actually going to be replacing that disc out of my bag. So the Crave, I really wanted to be like a nice S-curve disc, but it's just really inconsistent for me for some reason. Sometimes I'd put it on a hyzer and it would just hold the hyzer. Sometimes I'd put it on a hyzer and it would flip up. Sometimes I'd put it on a hyzer and it would flip up and turn. I don't know, it was just super inconsistent for me. Might've been because it was 165 grams, so it was a little bit of a lighter weight Crave. Not sure on that, but this one here, Max Weight Brave. This thing flies just like how I wanted a Crave to fly. So I'm gonna show you guys right here. Throw the Crave first. Pretty nice little uh, S flight there. Now I will say I don't throw that Gyropalooza Crave a lot. I usually throw that watermelon guy that, that you guys have seen. So that one does have a little bit more dome to it. So maybe, maybe that has something to do with the glide on it. I'm not sure. We're gonna throw the Brave. Put that on a little bit extra hyzer, but flipped up nice and flat. Still had a little bit of finish to it. Funny enough, out of the three throws, I think I threw the Crave the best, even though I'm dogging on it. Try to throw these a little flatter this time. All right. Wow, pretty cool. We got a little tiny headwind, tiny, tiny. All right, I like that though. Check out this Brave. Again, pretty flat. Wow, that thing just sails, dude. I love that Brave. Pretty nice flight there, throwing it flat. Pretty torque resistant, got a little bit of a turn and not much fade back, but really just went kind of straight the whole time. I really like that flight, even a slight headwind. We're gonna see what we can do with this little baby tailwind. Try to put this out there on some Anheuser and uh, see what happens. Wow, pretty nice. Even even uh, hooked up a little bit there at the end. I thought I threw that really low and it wasn't gonna work out, but again, the glide just kicked in and it just kept going. Let's see this Crave. Oh yeah, see I threw that one low. Oh, well, you gotta see the Brave fly anyway. Guys, I said it before and I'll say it again. This slot is probably one of the best slots for beginners if they're looking for distance. This like flippier seven, eight speed kind of, maybe nine speed. Nine speeds can be a little bit harder to get up to speed for slower arm speeds. So even if you find like a, like a heat or something like that, sometimes they're not flippy enough, for real. For a lot of people who can't throw like 200, 250 feet, a nine speed is gonna be way beefy for them. Even a heat, even an understable guy. So this is where these seven speed drivers are gonna be a lot easier to get up to speed. And in my opinion, probably be one of the best slots for a beginner if they're looking for a distance. Guys, if you see me out on the course, don't be afraid to say what's up. I really, I really love it. I enjoy it. I love talking to you guys when I see you out in person. So to show you guys how much I appreciate you, I'm getting some custom minis made with my new logo on them. Next time you guys see me out on the course, say what's up. Hopefully I'll have them ready and I'll give you guys a mini just to show you guys how much I appreciate you. We're gonna be throwing these out there on some hyzer again, trying to get them to flip up. Little nose up. Yeah, little nose up on that release, but still uh, still pretty good flight. That's one thing I do like about this slot is it's so forgiving. Didn't throw that very well either. All right, you guys, we're gonna end it out on a little forehand here. If you guys haven't checked out my last video and gotten in on the giveaway, Make sure you do that before this Sunday, March 17th, to get entered. So we're giving away a Gannon Burr FlexFit hat. So here we go. I'm going to throw this thing on a faux hand. Early released it, but still pushed straighter than I thought it would. Honestly, still went straight for longer than I thought it would. Throw this Crave. 
<laughs> Hook up. Oh wow, the crave is parked. Yeah, that was a nice shot there by the crave. All right guys, it's gonna wrap it up for this video. Hope you all enjoyed. Make sure to do the YouTube stuff, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Go get on on giveaway, guys. Not a lot of people have gotten in yet. Not a lot of people have viewed the video for whatever reason. Um, so make sure you guys go get in where there's not a lot of entries. So good luck to everybody. Hope y'all enjoyed, like I said, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace. See if we can't pop an ace on the end of the video real quick. No, that's it in a car. <laughs>